So this video is definitely a first. I have not seen a demonstration of this projector as of yet on the internet at all, not on YouTube. I haven't even seen any reviews about it. It is a Sony VPL SW635C. It is an interactive ultra short throw projector. I did get the wall arm as well, so you can see the projector is mounted to the wall. It is very close to the wall, and at this range, it can get a massive screen. So with the projector, you get two of these interactive pens. The one is red and the one is blue. You can use them both at the same time. The red one can interact with this board over here. This is the main one. And the blue one can interact on this side. This is the secondary pen. When the projector is not connected to the PC, you only have a few options. This is to actually view what is on your PC, and this is a whiteboard. You have 32 pages you can actually use. So if you're using this for multiple classes, no problem. You can use one for science, one for math. Of course, we've got the back button and the forward button in case you make a mistake. We can draw squares. We can, of course, write with a pen. If you choose this, of course, you've got more options. You've got red, black, green, and then we've got different options for sizes. We've got a thin size, and we've got a very thick size. So let me first go ahead and choose the pen. I will choose a red first. And let's draw some wavy lines. Let's maybe draw a circle as well. Then we can go back, choose the pen again. We'll choose a green maybe. And it was at 2. So let's go to 10, make it much thicker. And let's take a look now. We can maybe add some eyes and a happy face. Pretty cool. So of course, two different students can be writing exactly at the same time. We have this one over here, and we have this one over here. So if we go like this, we can of course do at the same time. Now when you first get this, it might not work correctly. You actually have to have this set up. To do this, you go to this button over here. Options. This is automatic. It'll kind of set it up for you. If you want to make it more precise, you can go to manual. Uh, this is manual for the red one, and this is manual for the secondary pen. So right now it's basically automatically calibrating the pen. You did it very well. And then this one, of course, you have to go through this process, which takes kind of long. But, which are... So as you can see, the board now is very messy. I want to erase everything. I can go to this one over here. One touch, and everything is gone. So since the background is white, we can use white to erase nicely. Now, of course, this can be linked to the computer as well. When you link it to the computer, there are two different ways. Right now, I'm just going to use the projector mode alphabet. So we can do A, B, C. Oh, yeah, we have 1 plus 1 equals... So it's very easy to do worksheets. You just put the worksheet on the screen and then you can write over it. We can just do this, take a picture of it, and we can use it for the future. Once again, that's a worksheet. This is a hat, so we can go ahead and write hat. The great thing about this is usually this would all have to be drawn on the board and then practice, whereas now you can save the time of projecting the image on the board and then just writing over it. So it is able to project a bright image even in a brightly lit room. I'll also turn off the lights now so you can see what the image looks like. Of course, much clearer. You can hide this away if you want to see the image a little bit better. And we turn the lights off and you can see it looks actually very, very nice. Of course, by moving the projector, I can also make the image bigger or smaller. There comes a little puppy and there's my feet. So as you can see you can watch movies. So the projector also comes with a remote control. This is where you'll do most of the settings in the beginning. So of course you can switch the screen around in case you actually have the projector on the ground and not on the wall. This for the interactive section and this is where you set up your pens basically and also connect it to the computer. The projector also does have a speaker. Go to auto, it looks standard. So it wasn't set too high, you can actually get even a brighter image if you really want to, but then the lamp life will be shorter. Sony promises a lamp life of three years if you use this five hours each and every day. By removing the cover, you can adjust the screen as well as the focus. We also have adjusting knobs over here, but it does have the cover on right now, and I'm not going to bother taking it off. As you can see, the lamp of the projector is over there, and we have two cameras to detect the pens. There you go, guys. The real first video of this projector.